Hey guys, what's up? It is Power here. I'm back for some more Pokemon Platinum Wedlock Challenge on the Nintendo 3DS. Last time we left off, we were in Valley Windworks and we managed to scare away the evil Team Galactic from stealing all of our Pokemon. So, last episode I did use a few items and I asked for some community feedback regarding that. Uh, people said that one item per battle should be, should be you know, the standard. Uh, I agree, I agree. I, I, you know, I was really just looking for clarification. Um, I'm gonna stick to that rule from now on. And, uh, a lot of people told me that I need to level up quite a bit because I am very underleveled. But in Looker goes. What is he going to do? I have no clue. Yeah. He must be off. Well, there goes Looker, guys. There goes Looker. And we will never see from him or hear from him. I'm just kidding, I'll probably see him soon. I was just adjusting my wrist brace there. I'm still wearing it, guys. I'm still wearing it. I am I'm destined to get rid of this tendonitis. I'm going to get rid of it. So let's see the team. How are we doing? Uh pretty good. I need to heal Bolt and Ferro though. If you remember, Volts had a close encounter last episode, one HP and Ferro as well. I'm not going to release those guys. And I need to go back and check on the honey that I slathered on the bark last time. Hoping for a new Pokemon, maybe a, a pseudo wudo or something. Uh, I have been informed that once I do have a full party of Pokemon, both male and female, uh, then I have uh, really no... Uh, I don't have to sort of choose whether uh, to catch your Pokemon based on gender, so gender is sort of irrelevant now that I've got a full party. Uh, so I'm going to go back and check to see if there is any... any people on... Uh, well, any Pokemon on this tree. Who have I got up top? Well, it's rustling, so I assume there's a Pokemon there. Really hoping that it isn't a combi. I'm really, really hoping for that. I think the best bet here is probably lettuce. So, without further ado, let us see what's on the tree. Get it? Ha ha. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have, ooh, an Apom. Very interesting. Very interesting. I definitely want to capture this one. Ambipom is a great Pokemon, especially with Fake Out. Just hope I don't kill it here. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. I doubt a Razor Relief will kill this Apom, so. I'm gonna catch it. I love the, the design. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, we're good. Uh, I'll throw a ball. We have five. And then if this doesn't capture, I'm probably gonna weaken a little bit. Nope, no luck. Absorb. Doesn't seem to have too many good attacks right now, but... It is a female. Ideally, I'd love for, like, molars to die, and we get a palm with lettuce instead, but... Sadly, I am not going to kill my Pokemon intentionally. It has to happen in battle. Ah, we missed! Go again. My defense is pretty low right now. And this is our encounter for the flowery area, I guess. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Here we go. Please work. Really, game? I'm honestly a bit afraid that I won't capture this, so I'm going to uh, absorb it a little bit more. Get down to the red HP area. Okay, that's perfect. Three Pokeballs left. I don't think there's anything more we can do here. If we don't capture it, well, that's kind of the Eapalm's fault. Oh, come on, game. Ah. I really want this Eapalm. If I press the A and B buttons repeatedly, do you think it'll increase the... Uh, the rate of capture. We have one Pokeball left. I think it's just really bad luck that we're getting here, but whatever. If we don't capture it, I'm just probably gonna send it molars to uh, kill it. Damn it! Ah, that sucks. Well, Apom, I offered you a chance to be a part of a, a future Elite Four winning team and you declined it, so as a result, I'm going to end your life right here. Um, it sucks, 
it sucks I can't capture it, but again, this A-Palm decided its own fit. Ah, die! That's what you get for declining my invitation to the party. Yay! Okay. Well, sadly, we could not capture a palm. Although that does remind me, I need to go and stock up on. Uh, I need to go and stock up on pokeballs before I head north a little bit. And some items while we're here. Okay. So. That'll do. Buy four of those. I think these are most important now, that we're actually going to use one item per battle. And then I think... Ah, the is probably pretty good. We got full heals yet? We do not. Let's buy one of each of these in case we need them. I already have two of those. I doubt we'll be needing an ice heal anytime soon, so I'm okay skipping that for now. Okay. So without further ado, let us continue. Guys, I really feel like I should actually try and... <laughs> uh, battle. Have I, caught, have I captured a Pokemon in this area? I can't even remember. Hey, how about you and me battle before we go to the Eternal Forest? Okay. Well, on the bright side, guys, we are almost close to a evolution. This is not good. This is not a good matchup for me. What do I do? I'm gonna have to send molars out. This is this is my own fault. If, I, if one of these Pokemon dies, it's my own fault. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Damn, that's a lot of damage. Damn! Molars! <sighs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. This is not looking good, guys. I mean, what can I do here? Molars is dead. Come on, he's so close to evolving! I might be able just to do this. Question is, what does Curse do for... non-grass types? Let's see. Or sorry, non-ghost non types. Uh, the user's speed strap stat will drop, but its attack and defense will increase. Uh, I don't know. Well, this is Generation 4. And Generation 4... I have to go for the stab. Damn! It's game over for Lettuce! Quit, quit, quit! <gasps> oh no! Lettuce! What do I do? I can't do anything. Miss, miss, no, no! I never expected to lose my starter this early. I never expected to use my starter this early. Ponyta, I'm going to barbecue you to a crisp for what you've done to my team. Die! Die! 
Well, guys, if there's a lesson to be learned here today, we should have both our Pokemon at the same level. So, we've just lost two Pokemon. What's your name? I hear you, but I, I think a little honestly, bit of a uh, little bit of a uh, damage on that guy is definitely needed after what he's done to my Pokemon. Give me a bazooka! I want to blow that guy into oblivion. Ah. We'll release all the Pokemon when we get to the graveyard. Grave, I'll just do that. Man, this sucks. Lettuce, one level off evolving. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Peter, molars. I never really loved you anyway. All right, back in the party comes Chips. Welcome to the party, Chips. So we're in need of a meal Pokemon for Chips. I really need to start sorting out my party, guys. Damn, I'm just. I'm just a bit uh, disappointed with that. I really am. So I don't know what to do at this point. I guess I'm going to lead with Vols and Pharaoh and I. But, you know, the party is seeming a little bit empty. Um, ideally, you know, <laughs> sometimes I focus on the completion of the Nuzlocke. Or the, the challenge more so than the actual journey itself. And, you know, I, when I did my first Nuzlocke challenge on YouTube, I thought, like, if I died early, I would just restart, but I'm not gonna do that. I think anything that happens, I should just keep it in the game. What do you guys think? Like, any BS crits, any stupid decisions, I'm just gonna keep them all in. And there you saw, like, I really don't think I could have done anything there. I, I lost just due to my underleveling, um, which honestly is a sign for things to come, so... Rest in peace, Lettuce. Hmm, I'm wondering, do I wanna... How long does it take? We haven't caught a Pokemon here yet. I don't know whether we should actually either. See, this is gonna be tough, because this guy's a Hager. And, you know, our, our go-to Pokemon for taking out Hagers was... Chips? Or, sorry, Lettuce? So what do you do here? I mean, the only thing I can do is tackle. Doesn't even do anything, dude. Faro has wing attack, I guess. I don't think Yudu's affected by electric types either, is it? Rock polish ain't good. Let me just check. I think Yudu's rock, though, isn't he? Or rock and ground. He's rock and ground, so that means he is, you know, immune to electric types. Flying is half effective as well. What do I do? I'm I'm boned, like there's nothing I can do here. He's just gonna buff up and buff up. Frustrating guys, it is all going freaking out the tube here. I'll up to you, Pharaoh. I know this isn't really great, but I need to cut this guy's attack before he does anything. So uh I guess I'm just gonna go for ring attack for the stab. Big up to you dude for doing the uh, Really? This sucks. This sucks so bad. This is gonna take a while. I can't Pokemon to do this. It's, you know, I'm more. I think I'm more annoyed for the AI, you know, being programmed this way. I mean, it's just frustrating. I guess this is the smartest thing to do, but it doesn't really do anything, does it? I think my best bet here is honestly just double teaming so much. Because one hit, he's dead at this point, right? Rock polish increases attack. Char, no speed. I'm just going to double team. I just get my evasiveness up quite a bit because then if I get that up, you know, we should be okay. He can't really attack us, can he? If we get like two or three of those off. I think I'm gonna need the, the train ships up a bit because we have no we, we have no Pokemon to take out like, Rock or Grind. 
Or fire, in that matter. One more. And then we're good. You can't catch me! You see, this is how it feels, game, when someone does that stuff to you. Oh, he still hit me. Brilliant. Well, finally he's dead. Another one! Awesome! So happy to have it. Let's see if we can do anything here. Okay, this would be like a 4 hit KO. As long as he doesn't touch me with the... As long as he doesn't touch me with the... Defense curl. It's 4 hit KO. A long battle, guys. A long battle. One more and we're good. Well, there's the defense curl, so it's obviously, you know, another two hits to kill it at this point. Honestly, I think I probably could send out chips, and we would win anyway. You know, early game, I can see the sweatlock being very difficult because we have no type coverage. At least when we get the later game, we'll have TMs available to ensure that we at least have one move amongst each couple to take out a Pokemon, but, you know, right now it's just a pain. Another dude, dude, wow. I never thought I would see it. Level 12 this time? This is gonna be a 5 KO. Unless he starts defensive curling again. That new meta. That's the new meta, just using defense curl. Here we go. gonna be like a three <laughs> I can't believe I'm sitting wing attacking a freaking team dude dude I need some type coverage get me on that ASAP well he was a hiker so you know there was a high chance of him actually using that regardless but you know I I, I didn't think that it would be three geodudes you know I thought it would be maybe like a geodude something else or something else anyway thankfully this geodude and this battle is long gone behind us at this point I want to capture a Pokemon and accompany chips Ideally, I would love like a fighting type or a grass type or something. That Apom would have been so sweet if I could have got that. I'm wondering how long does it take for the honey? Is what I'm wondering. Let me just quickly look that up. You know what? I kind of want to skip my encounter for this area and then come back and get it. But the rules state that I have to find a partner for. Oh crap. My Pokemon ASAP, so Breezel is a water type. I need a female. Oh, no, 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 this is good. Shellos. Chips. Yeah, we have to catch for the Shellos then. I don't mind Shellos, it's good, but I'm not sure how I feel about having two water types in the same party. Let me just actually check Shellos' stats out. So, Shellos is. A water type it evolves into Gastrodon, which is a water and ground type. That could be actually pretty good because, you know, ground does have a lot of. Shell also is only weak to grass as well, and we can pretty much take out grass with an ice beam. So I think that's pretty good coverage if we capture this shell. So that's actually a good partnership. Um, I did buy ten Pokeballs. I, I really hope this doesn't kill it. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. Thank you. Thank you, game. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. This this guy has to be called Dip. It's gotta be Chips and Dip. Eh, you know what? I'll splash out the cash and try and get a Premier Ball capture here. Boom! We actually get it in the Premier Ball. Awesome. So I think that's a pretty good partnership. I mean, it isn't, it isn't the, the best partnership in the world, but at the same time... Um, my alternative was like a B-Doof, I think, which I wasn't capturing. What do you guys think about the dupes clause? Do you think I should... Chips and dip. Chips 
chips and dip. Awesome. It has Storm Drain as well, which is awesome. Well, I don't know if Storm Drain was the preferred uh, pick up there, but, you know, Storm Drain, what's it to do? All single target water type moves. I guess that's for double battles, right? Uh, this is Generation 4 as well, man. So, uh, if it was Generation 5, I could actually have immunity to water type attacks. But unfortunately, because it's Generation 4, I don't. Which kind of sucks. But still, I think this guy's pretty cool. Um, he has Mud Slap, Grind type coverage, as well as Water Pulse, which is great. So, hopefully Chips and Dip will be a dynamic duo. With that being said, actually, I don't mind giving them a run out here if they want one. I'm sure these Geodudes will not be that tough for these guys to take on. I might take on the Hecker Knight. If it all goes to crap and they die, well, I'm a bad Pokemon trainer and I've caused possibly four deaths in one episode, but we'll put that behind us now, guys. We have a water type move. We should be okay. I'm hoping we are. This will probably be the last battle of the day, but we got a Hecker. He has... Well, that certainly was unexpected. That's the second time I've made that joke, I need to stop. Alright, let's go, Dip. Let's go. Show them what we got. Show them what we got. Show me what you got, Dip. This is your first ever battle. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. Dip jumping right in there and making up for the lack of levels. Sweet. So I have a lot of battling to do here, and I will take on all these guys, guys. Guys, guys. <laughs> don't battle this guy. I kind of don't want to battle him. Um, I've already caught my encounter here. So I'm not, no, I'm probably going to go back. Um, I, need to, I need to do some training, guys. I really do need to do some training off screen. So maybe from the next episode, you'll see... Oops. You'll see... At least everyone up to, like, level 10. So, Pepper and Sonic needs to be done, and obviously, chips and dip. <laughs> so today, we lost two of our friends, but we gained another one. I'm sad, I know, but nothing I could really do, my own fault. We did, we did get unlucky on that crit. I thought the crit was going to kill it. Apparently not. But anyway, guys, as per usual, I am going to be sending out here. Join me tomorrow for yet another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Wedlock Challenge on the Nintendo DS. Yeah, this is Paro signing out. Have a very nice day, and I shall see you all later. Bye-bye.